In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called evaluating an expression with a negative exponent positive fraction base. This problem is going to give you a fraction that has a negative exponent and it wants you to rewrite it without any exponent at all. And to solve this problem, we're going to be using a couple of rules of exponents. So first of all, if you have something to the negative exponent, that is equal to the reciprocal with a positive exponent. So if you have x to the negative y, that's equal to 1 over x to the y. And if we're talking about fractions, I'm going to use slightly different terms here. Uh, if we're talking about a fraction, same kind of a thing. We take the reciprocal of the fraction, which just means that we swap the numerator for the denominator. Oops, I don't know where c came from. Um, so if we have a fraction to a negative exponent, we just swap the numerator for the denominator and make that exponent positive. Another rule that we're going to use in this problem is that if we have a fraction, or actually anything inside parentheses with a shared exponent on the outside, that is going to be the same as writing it in this form. So each term raised to that particular exponent like that. And we're going to use both of those properties to solve this problem. Here is the problem that we have been given, 5 over 7 to the negative 2. The first thing that we're going to do is use this rule, rule right here. It's going to allow us to change that negative 2 to a positive 2. We're just going to take the reciprocal or swap the numerator for the denominator. And that allows us to change the sign on the exponent to a positive. And then we're going to use this rule right here that allows us to get rid of the parentheses. So instead of writing 7 over 5 to the 2, we're going to go 7 squared over 5 squared. And then we can evaluate each one of those individually. 7 squared is 49, 5 squared is 25, and that is the answer to the problem.